This is your WCIA 3 forecast first. Sponsored by Matex Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, and Electrical. It is 7 a.m. Here's a look outside in Pontiac. We're seeing some clouds increase as expected this morning. That will continue through much of the day today. Temperatures, though, starting out nice and mild out there. How about 59 in Champaign? 63 in Decatur. It's 65 right now in Springfield. Those temperatures are going to climb, but the clouds also increasing is a precursor to some rain showers later on today. The rain is off to the south. It should hold off until after 5 o'clock. We'll talk more about the rain showers and the chance for severe weather on Monday. That and more as the morning show starts right now. It is 7.03. Here's a look outside in Champaign. A nice and quiet start to the day here. Winds will not be as strong today as they were yesterday, but still a breezy day on tap for us here. Temperatures are mild. Those winds still out of the south and southwest, 10 to 20 miles an hour. Should stay there through the day. We have seen clouds increase overnight, but we're staying dry for much of the day. I think you'll still be able to get outside and enjoy the weather today. If you're wanting to go outdoors, then best chance probably morning hours with the wind to be strongest into the afternoon, with some of those gusts perhaps up to 30 to 35 miles an hour. As far as highs for the day, a good number of us will get into the low 80s out there. We'll see those clouds continuing to increase. Rain showers hold off until the evening. I think 5 o'clock, the earliest we'll see rain in our viewing area. We'll watch it and keep an eye on it here. In the meantime, look at that. Some nice warm weather here in central Illinois. 80 in Champaign and in Decatur. 78 in Taylorville and in Mattoon. Tonight, then, rain showers, maybe a rumble of thunder are possible. No severe weather tonight, but those south winds are still in place. 10 to 20 miles an hour. Tomorrow, then, We'll bring some showers during the morning, more dry time than not during the day, but the chance will be there for some showers and thunderstorms again afternoon, especially into Monday night. In fact, there is a risk for some strong to severe storms. As expected from last night, we thought that the slight risk would be lifted to the north. That has happened. And essentially, if you watch us on TV right now, you're under the risk for a slight level here of severe weather. That's a level two out of five. We'll talk more about the threats for severe weather Monday into Monday night, what we think may happen, and when some cooler weather is on the way. That and more coming up at 713. Jamie. Thanks, Jacob. It is 713. Time for weather on the threes. A great start to our Sunday here across central Illinois. Things are dry and Mainly quiet out there, though that's not going to last all that long here. As we look across the region, still getting a little sunshine. The clouds are higher in nature. They're higher cirrus clouds, and that will allow for temperatures still to warm combined with some south winds. Mild out there today, upper 50s and low 60s out the door. Don't need a jacket on your way to church here. Temperatures will continue to climb thanks to south and southwest winds of 10 to 25 miles an hour. Those winds will continue to increase, and that's going to bring our temperatures into the upper 70s. Many of us getting into the low 80s this afternoon for highs out there. Uh, really a very pleasant day for many of us. How about 83 in Toledo, 81 in Gibson City. Farmer City gets to 81 today. We'll be up to eight, 79 in Chatham, 78 in Pena, Stewartson at 77. The later we go in the day, the thicker the clouds get, and some rain showers will be possible along Interstate 70 by 4 or 5 o'clock, lifting to the north as we go on through. Here's a look at future track regionally. Notice this morning those clouds continuing to increase. We'll hold off on rain until 3, 4, 5 o'clock. Here. here we go, seeing some of this more... Uh, more I guess organized green will show on the board here. Notice then this evening, 8 o'clock, rain showers up to Interstate 72, likely continuing overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. But tomorrow morning, rain showers are light in nature. They'll pass on through relatively quickly. Then we'll watch for some of those strong to severe storms. Maybe we're getting some storms just to our west early in the afternoon, but I think the main event going to come into the evening and overnight hours just to the south of us. We'll talk more about the threats locally, where these storms may be heading, and keep you updated on that severe threat later on, Jamie. For the most part, though, I don't expect it to be a widespread event. Most folks probably going to be dry through much of the day on Monday. Great. It was such a nice day yesterday as you, well. You're right. Today will be similar in temperature. We just don't have nearly as much sunshine. So uh, really all that means for us is I think you just won't get a sunburn like some people were saying they got yesterday. <laughs> Remember, though, those rain showers, about 4 or 5 o'clock, that's when we'll start to see the chance increase into this evening. It was that warm for a sunburn? You know, Jen Lask got a sunburn last night. Uh, huh. she, yeah, she told me she had to put a little extra makeup on. I don't know if she's going <laughs> to like me saying that. But. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jacob. And visit. <laughs> It is 723. Here's a look in Gibson City right now. We can see a little blue sky out there. There are some high cirrus clouds still in place. That's expected, and those clouds will continue to increase and thicken throughout the day today. Across the region, very mild spring-like start. We're seeing lots of 50s and 60s all across the Great Lakes and upper Midwest here. And we're mostly dry here in Illinois, but there's some showers to our north, showers to our west, and showers to our south. 
We'll get our chance for showers after about 4 or 5 o'clock today, increasing as we go into this evening. That means much of the day today looks dry. If you want to head out to the park, be great to do that here through mid-afternoon or so. Then we may have to start dodging some raindrops, especially into this evening. In the meantime, highs today will be getting into the upper 70s and low 80s. Out there, Bahamut gets to 82, 76 in Lerna, Altamont up to 76 today. Notice future tracks showing by 5, 6 o'clock. Some of these showers are really starting to push on in here this evening. Then 8, 9 o'clock, we're seeing those showers being numerous in nature, and that will continue through tomorrow morning early. Watch what happens after 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, though. These rain showers quickly evaporate. Still some light showers into Monday during the day. And then our attention will turn to see if we don't get some strong to severe storms Monday afternoon into Monday night. Then as we go into Tuesday, some more rain showers expected. The morning may be dry, but rain showers will fill back in being cooler in nature. Quick check at the chance for severe weather on Monday. That's tomorrow. No severe weather today, tonight. We do think that if there are some storms that can form in the region, we'll get a mainly wind and hail threat. The tornado threat low, not zero. We'll keep an eye on it. It's the month of May. We just can't rule it out this time of year. More than likely, some storms earlier in the afternoon into the evening hours would come from the west, but then it seems like the main event, Jamie, may end up being down to our south. We're going to mark areas south of Interstate 70, having a chance for some strong winds, maybe great Greater than 70 miles an hour. We'll take a look more of that regional setup coming up here in a bit. It is May, though. May, our peak for severe weather season here in central Illinois. So last week, or our weekend, which is Monday, Tuesday, we had a really great Monday, Tuesday, it seemed. Like, awesome Monday, great weather. Yeah, I don't get a weekend anymore. Whenever there's strong storms, they're always like, can you come back in? So I'll be here probably Monday, for sure Tuesday as well. Uh, but we'll watch that severe threat. My weekend turns into whenever the weather's quiet, which actually works out for me. <laughs> uh, I'm not on a set schedule. But we've got you covered. Download, I'll tell you what, the best thing to do, download the WCI3 weather app. If there's any alerts issued, any updates, we'll send you a notification straight through them. All right, thanks, Jacob. It is 7.33. Here's a look outside in Peoria right now, taking a little road trip down the road up Interstate 74, and a nice start to the day up there. Maybe you've got some plans to head over to the Illinois River or get some... Fishing in, perhaps. The wind's been a little strong, it seems like, for some of the fishers around here, uh, as far as it goes. But we are seeing clouds increase, so sunshine won't be as much. Still, I think we'll see some sun making through those clouds today. The clouds will continue to increase. Temperatures are also going to climb. We should be getting into the upper 70s, even low 80s in many spots today. Clouds increase. We're breezy. Rain showers hold off until 4 or 5 o'clock, especially into this evening. Tonight, then, likely seeing numerous to widespread showers. A rumble of thunder possible. No severe weather. Winds remain out of the south, 10 to 20 miles an hour. On Monday, then, we'll start out the morning with some showers during the morning to commute. Much of the day Monday, though, does trend dry. I'll be very upfront about that. But by the time we get into the afternoon and evening, a few pop-up showers and thunderstorms expected. Some of those storms could be on the strong to severe side. There is a level two slight risk, a standard risk for severe weather. It's May. Come on. We have to deal with severe weather from time to time. This will be mainly a wind and hail event for us. A tornado can't be ruled out. Main timing for that will be Monday afternoon, especially into Monday night. The severe threat will stick around in central Illinois until we can clear that cold front through. That's going to happen during the overnight hours on Monday into early Tuesday. More rain showers expected during the day Tuesday, though. Those not expected to be severe. They will be cooler. Highs Tuesday likely only in the 50s. Jamie? And we also have an update for you on Champaign County's NOAA radio. Yeah, we've been watching that. Of course, WCI Weather has been team partnering up, that is, with the National Weather Service in Lincoln to bring that radio back online. It's been, it's been offline since February. That radio covers Champaign County. A structural analysis has been completed, and we're pleased to announce our tower has been approved for the next step then. Climbers, they get to climb the tower and install the antenna very soon. I don't think Kevin Light is going to be climbing it. Now, of course, it depends on the weather. Wind is a factor, schedule availability, and more. There's not an exact date for return to service, but the goal by the National Weather Service in Lincoln says by the end of this month, the radio will be back online. We'll keep you updated on that process right here on TV and on WCIA.com. Jamie, lots of folks have been wondering when is that going to come online. It's been over a year. That radio is important because it's the only NOAA radio that Champaign County can get to receive severe weather alerts uh, whenever there's warnings issued. So we're very happy to have that progress update report this morning. Good news for everyone. Oh, definitely. All right. And it's time for our trending topics of the day. 
we're talking about Disneyland reopening, a dog reunited with his owner, and bees in a home. What you guys can't see is Jacob dancing, trying to get over here to Every talk time about trending topics. A little different, topic. a little different <laughs> off camera, just to mess with Jamie. <laughs> All right, first up, for the first time in more than 400 days, Disneyland reopened to visitors on Friday. Some excited guests cheered and waved as they entered the park. Both Disneyland Park and the California Adventure Park Park are now open at 25% capacity, but only California residents are allowed to visit at this time. And I think Florida residents can visit the Florida one too, if I remember right. I don't think you have to be in California and fly to Florida. Right. I know Florida's um, Disney World. Yeah, is that right? Is, is it Disney World down there, Disneyland, California? Yeah. I still can't get there <laughs> to stay, but boy, it'd be uh, nice to see some, some of that. Uh, have you ever been to one of the two? I have. I've been to both. I've really? been to both. Which yeah. Which better? Oh, it's been s when I was little. I oh, can't. Okay. <laughs> I only went to one in Florida. I thought it was a great time. Yeah, Actually. I haven't been as an adult. I, I should. I'm sure that would be a lot of fun. This is something that I probably would like to you do. You know, maybe uh, maybe if our boss is watching, we can take like a work trip down there. You and I, Jamie, we'll do a report. Yeah, everything. we can do the whole show from Disneyland. <laughs> hey, that'd be good. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next story here. It was a reunion four years in the making, and the owner says it was all thanks to the dog's microchip. Michael Joy says four years ago his dogs got loose. Two returned home, but the family couldn't find four-month-old Sam. He drove around the neighborhood and went to local shelters looking for him, but being in the Army, it was time for the family to move from Georgia to Kentucky. Last month, the owner got a call from an animal shelter in Cleveland, Ohio. They had Sam. Joy says getting his dogs microchipped was the best money spent because this moment is priceless. Look at that. I'm sure Sam's happy to be home there. He looks yeah. all smiley. Look at that. Super happy to be reunited there. Great story indeed. I love that. And that microchip was what saved him. Our dog is not microchipped. I don't we know. just hope he finds his way home and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the gators don't get him. Is that right? That's like what? That's weeks such and an weeks inside ago? joke. I don't know if anyone weeks and weeks remembers ago, there was a that. story from Florida, and it was the gator mm -hmm. got a dog, and the owner jumped in, and Jamie's like, "I don't know if I do that." I, was like, I I don't. Some of you folks who love watching the movie, <laughs> you know you're out there. You already know what I'm talking about. I made the same joke. I think it was last week. Didn't I? Yeah, I mean that's scary. You're jumping in the water and opening that gator's mouth to pull out your dog. Ugh. I don't know. All right, Jamie. We might have to have a little funeral out there because I don't know. I don't know. It's super scary. Okay. A Georgia homeowner called a bee removal expert after she found a huge colony of bees leave it living in her ceiling. This is the third time they have had to have bees removed from the home, each time in a different spot. Neighbors say it's been the buzz in the community. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Could not help it. Yeah, that's creepy. I don't know. Yep. Throw the home away. Just get rid of it. Move on. <laughs> Sports is up next. It is 743. Here's a look outside in Decatur. Getting a little sunshine amongst the cirrus clouds in place. Still a mild start out there. Temperatures this morning are in the low 60s and upper 50s in most spots here. South winds still a factor. Not nearly as breezy today as they were yesterday. And I think most of the day today will be dry by 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon here. That's when the chance for rain will start to pick up, especially into this evening. So this morning into the early afternoon should be just great for outdoor plans. Monday will be the last mild day we have, at least warm day, I should say, uh, for at least the next week here. Still into the 70s. There are strong cold front Monday night. We'll move on through. That cools us off into the 50s by Tuesday afternoon. We will see some 60s still on the board here, but things are trending noticeably cooler out there. In addition, as we see these systems roll on through, system number one coming in tonight into Monday, system number two into Tuesday, system number three then as we go into Thursday and Friday, Rain totals may add up just a little bit here. One inch, if not more, likely across parts of central Illinois. We'll have another check of your forecast coming up at 7.53. It is 7.53. We're looking at some clouds that are filling in through our day today. Already seeing some of them on satellite and radar here. No rain, though. Rain holds off till 4 or 5 o'clock. Clouds will continue to thicken as we go today into tonight. Rain showers likely tonight. No severe weather today or tonight. It's tomorrow that we've got a chance for severe weather. Here's a look at the latest Storm Prediction Center outlook. If you've missed our conversations during the morning show, you're joining in a little late. 
Monday afternoon and Monday night will bring the chance for some strong storms. Here's a look at rain showers today. First, notice we're seeing some light rain fill on in. Once we get to 4 or 5 o'clock, that's when we think the start time will be, with chances increasing the later we go. This evening into tonight, likely numerous to widespread showers, light in nature, maybe a rumble of thunder somewhere. Monday morning starts with some showers, but watch as we go late morning into the early afternoon. Rain clears out here. Still some cloud cover in place, but then our attention will turn to two different regions for a severe weather threat here. Monday afternoon and evening to our west could see some storms form here. We'll watch it. That may bring a chance for severe weather along and north of Interstate 72. The other region then will be to our south late Monday night into Tuesday morning here. We're talking the overnight hours when many folks are asleep. Some, a strong complex of storms likely in southern Illinois. That could bring some storms as far north as Interstate 70 into the region. Quick check at the threat meter for you here real quick for Monday and Monday night. Main threats will be large hail and damaging winds. The chance for some damaging winds greater than 70 miles an hour would be along and south of Interstate 70. The tornado threat is low, not zero. We just can't rule it out because it's the month of May. I'll have a final check at your seven-day forecast coming up at the end of the show. Here's a quick check at your seven-day forecast. We are dry for most of the day, but late this afternoon into the evening, rain showers and maybe a rumble of thunder pick up. We'll see some showers in the morning Monday. Much of the day looks dry, but some strong to severe storms possible Monday afternoon and Monday night. I'll have more updates for you on that coming up tonight on WCIA 3 News at 5, 39, and 10 on our digital platforms at 8. All right. Thanks, Jacob. Have a great weekend.